Hello, I'm doing my video today on an application called Ultimate Rotation Control. And what this application does is it allows your phone to rotate in any direction, 360 degrees. Um, and personally for me, that's good because I have an HTC One Max and it only rotates um, in both directions in landscape and, um, and it uh, only does vertical portrait, but it doesn't do um, portrait upside down. So um, what I find that I need is I need that portrait upside down, especially if let's say for instance, I'm playing a game and I'm charging my phone. It's easier to have the charger in the top instead of the bottom because what I found with my charger plugging in the bottom of my phone is that I have a tendency to rest my hand which then bends my charger which then can cause my charger to break or if I press it hard enough even my phone um, so the version of the um, ultimate rotation control app that we're using is version 5.5.0 um, and uh, there's another piece to this app that I want to show and it's called rotation control license so there are some limitations to the application some things that you can't do um, in the settings to the app unless you purchase the license so you can use the app for free uh, and or you can purchase the um, license and get the full benefit of all of the things in the app. Um, so let's go to the app. And if you can see, it's rotating my screen. Now, the other reason why um, I um, like having this is because my home screen, I use the um, My Launcher and it doesn't do it in landscape mode. Um, but when I'm recording my videos, um, the recorder it will record the videos in whichever frame I'm in. So if I'm in landscape, it'll record them in landscape. If I'm in portrait, it'll record them in portrait. So I just discovered that because my phone was stuck in home, was in portrait mode. So all my videos were in portrait mode and I needed to figure out how to get them in landscape. So once I bought this app, I said, well, wait a minute, let me try it and see how it works with the app. So of course, since it's stuck in portrait mode, it doesn't look that great. I mean, you can see my uh, icons are stacked on top of each other. But, so I don't use it on a regular basis. I'm really just using it for the purpose of this video. And I use it when I'm making a video. Um, but after I make a video, I freeze the app so that it's not functioning anymore. And then if I need to, like I said, turn my portrait in reverse, make my portrait upside down then i'll go into you know titanium back up and unfreeze it so here's the app and we're going to go inside of it and we're going to look at the settings so these are general settings the um global rotation is just what is set to at all times and i have it set to forced auto which means it rotates in all four directions um at all times and or you can choose any number of these you can have it to um, be in auto mode which means it uses the default of your phone so if i got it in auto mode then that means if my phone doesn't do the upside down portrait neither will the rotation if i do forced auto then it'll rotate auto no matter what direction it is forced three-fourths is the same as the default but it, of course every phone's default is different so it's the same, it only uh, rotates in three directions and not four. You can actually lock it and stop it from rotating, which I think is very interesting. Um, that's good for like movies and stuff like that, I guess, if you don't want it to turn. Or even when you're playing a game, uh, I have a couple of games that will turn in landscape and portrait, like Candy Crush is one of those games. But I really like it in portrait mode, so uh, sometimes if I'm leaning, It'll flip the landscape, but I want it to be in portrait. So that will be one of the reasons you would use it. Um, auto portrait, portrait, reverse portrait. So these are all your options, reverse landscape. And then manual. Um, manual, not really sure how that works, but I guess it would be every time you went to a page, you would choose how, every time you went into an app, 
or you went to a page on your phone, you would choose how you wanted to display that. But let me make sure mine is set to force auto. And then if you look up here in your notifications bar, it's always up there. And if you come back to your settings, you can actually have that in your settings. So you can show selection pop-up, rotation choices, which is what's up here. And I have it set for the forced auto to lock the screen if I want my screen locked, to do the reverse portrait, which is to flip the screen upside down, or reverse landscape. Because there's also apps that are in landscape, but they don't flip to the reverse landscape. Games are like that. Like uh, Angry Birds is like that, as a matter of fact. It plays in landscape, but it, if you flip the phone over, uh, Angry Birds doesn't flip over. So I would actually use that for Angry Birds. Um, and then if you look here in my um, notifications, those are the four settings here. So the one that's lit up blue here to the right, that's what it's currently in. The one next to it is lock. You see the P upside down lets you know, the L upside down lets you know that they're upside down versions of landscape and portrait, which I think is pretty cool. And if you tap any one of those, it'll just activate that. See? If you tap it, it'll activate that. Okay? So you just saw the screen flip all those different ways, which I think is really cool. And I'm also going to show you that. And then there's other ones, other settings, but I'm not going to use those for the sake of this video. So I'm also going to show you that with the home screen here. So this is the home screen. You can see all my applications are jumbled. I use the one with the clock, so you can actually see how the clock rotates. So this is in regular landscape. Okay, now I'm flipping it to um, upside down portrait. Now it's in upside down landscape. Now it's in regular portrait mode and back to um, landscape. So that's pretty much what it does. Um, I can't show you it locked because all you'll see is the screen not move. <laughs> but that's what it does. Um, and so it works really great. Um, like I said, I have an HTC One Max running 4.4.2 um, with Sense 6. And I really discovered this app because I needed something to put my phone into landscape mode when it started recording. And because the recorder, um, it puts a display on the screen in order to start recording. It's not like you can go into the app like you can with the rotation app. So if I press my recorder, it doesn't do something like this. It just puts a little um, widget. I guess that's the best thing to call it. It puts a widget on the home screen. You press the widget and it starts recording. So I needed my home screen to be in landscape in order for my videos to now start being in landscape. So I'm really excited about that. So I had to do a video about it to let everybody know that now my videos are going to look different. Um, and I hope that this video helps someone. Thank you. Bye-bye.